Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Wade Hadley again. Today we're going to be taking a look at my new to me 2016 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X trim. If you guys are wondering what happened to my 2020 Challenger, uh, I am a dad of three. Woke up one morning, realized what am I doing with my life, paying for this expensive car. I could be hanging out with my kids, having a good time. So I traded it in, got myself back into a pickup truck. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a walk around in this vehicle, look at all the different features, and then we'll start it up, check out the interior, all the features inside the interior, and then we'll wrap it up. The 2016 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X comes equipped with a 4 liter V6 engine made into a 5 speed automatic transmission, which makes 261 horsepower, 281 pound feet of torque. Fuel economy is about 15 miles per gallon in the city, 21 on the highway for a combined average of about 17 miles per gallon. So now we'll go ahead and do the front end of the Nissan. So as you guys can see, this truck is extremely ancient looking. Uh, the first model year was come out, came out around 2005. Uh, it hasn't been updated since then. It's still a 2016 model year. They made these all the way through 2020 and they're about to come out with the brand new uh, 2022. Sorry, that was 2021. They made these all the way through 2021. About to come out with the new 2022 Frontiers. Super excited for those. They look freaking badass. If you haven't uh, seen one, Make sure you give it a Google, check it out. They're gonna be awesome. So you can see, right, you got that old school looking Nissan uh, grill with the smiley face, chrome smiley face kind of look. You do get regular halogen light bulbs that just kind of went out on me as we were standing here talking. Very old school, very classic front end look. Small uh, X pattern grill right there with a big Nissan emblem in front. And this model does come equipped with fog lights down there. And if you get all the way down on the front end, way down here you do have a metal skid plate comes with the pro price package to protect all your mechanical goodies while you're doing rock crawling since this is the off-road model overall pretty good looking front end really dated but still a really good uh, mid-sized truck front end Come around the side, you can see this one does have the Pro 4X graphic patterns up on the hood. So you get some cool tire tracks and a big Pro 4X emblem right there. Starting the front with the wheels, really cool looking wheels on these, kind of a dark gray with a more chrome finish around the edge. Those are 16 inch wheels with 265 millimeter BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. I'm not super certain if the BF Goodriches came stock on the vehicle uh, or if they were a modification made by somebody else. I did buy this used. If you know, make sure you leave a comment down below uh help me out with the information i'm putting out to everybody coming down the side not too much to say pretty standard truck body body color mirrors body color door handles and another pro 4x graphic as we move down the back driver's side fuel filler door and then you got the same wheel and tire setup in the rear you do have leaf spring suspension in the rear and i forgot to mention up front you do have probably can't see in there but if i can get in there Look at that aggressive tire tread, first of all. Then you get in there a little farther. You do get Bilstein coil suspension up front, leaf springs in the rear. Go ahead and take a look at this driver fuel filler door for a little ASMR real quick. Ooh, nice and squeaky. Does run on regular 87 unleaded fuel. And that Pro 4X graphic package continues all the way through to the rear. Now we'll check out the rear end of the Nissan Frontier. So once again, pretty standard truck rear, standard Nissan tailgate from back in the day. Big Frontier and Pro 4X badges right there. Halogen light bulbs for the brake lights and the turn signals. And then you do get integrated backup camera right there in the trailer or the, uh, the tailgate handle. Go ahead and drop the tailgate. Tailgate is not damp, so you do have to catch it on the way down. There you can see the bed, pretty good bed space, five foot bed. This is a mid-sized truck, but you do get the adjustable bed rail set up so you can adjust where your own tie down cleats are at. One of them's kind of loose and kind of slides around as the truck moves, but that's all right. Overall, a lot of good bed space, factory bed liner spray in, and then a kind of a plastic liner right here on the tailgate. Good for sitting on when you're tailgating. Pop that tailgate back up. You see we do have parking sensors right here in the rear bumper. My license plate's super bent because somebody uh, backed into me and dragged it out with their trailer hitch. And then this does have a towing package, towing, uh, towing capacity on this Pro 4X, good for 6,100 pounds, payload about 1,100 pounds in the bed. And you can see you got a seven pin connector right there. 
And so as I forgot to mention with those Bilstein shocks and those leaf springs, you, this truck is good for about 8.9 inches of ground clearance, completely unaltered. Let's take a look at the rear door panel now. Pretty standard, I keep saying pretty standard, pretty boring appearance to be frank. Uh, the same kind of gray tone that we've seen all throughout the mid 2000s and the late 2000s. A lot of hard plastic on the inside of this, but this is, you know, this is a rugged old style truck. Uh, it's very bare bones, but in a way it's very charming in that sense. So you got a lot of hard, a lot of hard touch material here. This is kind of soft and squishy for your elbow, but then all the rest of this is going to be pretty hard. Nice chrome door handle though. These, these doors do have a really satisfying opening and closing feel to them. And then as part of that Rockford Fosgate premium audio system that you get with the Pro 4X, you have two speakers in this door, a tweeter and a regular one. Coming on now into the back seat of the Nissan Frontier. A lot of good space back here. This is one of the fewest midsize trucks where you can actually fit three car seats, two boosters and an infant that I myself have tested across the back row. Go ahead if we pop in real quick. I'm about five foot nine. That back seat is pretty, that front seat is pretty far back already, but I still have a lot of leg room. Uh, between my knees and the seat in front of me. Seat back pocket right there for some spare diapers if you're a father like I am. And then there's that door panel again. Center console for the rear, not too much going on. Very old school. You has got one of these fold down cup holders that kind of has the foldy cup holder bits. So uh, I'd probably hold on to your drink if I were you. <clears throat> and then the center, you do get a fold down armrest, no cup holders in the armrest like you see on a lot of newer vehicles. Uh, those probably function a lot better to be perfectly honest. So let's hop out, show you what the seats can actually do. So these seats are kind of multifunction, right? I can come over here if I want to, I can fold them down like this to get a flat seat back cargo floor if I wanted to, or I could fold this up, pull on the handle down here and then lift with my other arm and those seats do fold up so you get kind of more of a flat cargo floor. Not fully flat like you see in some more full-size trucks, but you do get a lot more space doing this and there's a cool little surprise underneath the other side. So we'll go around there, fold that other side up and you can see what it looks like. So now you can see we got both sets of seats slid fully up and you do get this cool cargo area right here covered by a netting and it does have a drain plug installed in it so you could fill this up with like some ice or something like that kind of keep it as a cooler inside your own vehicle and you do get a sweet nissan first aid kit as standard with the vehicle that way when you get some you know off-roading injuries you can patch your buddies up real quick while you guys are out on the trail so we'll go ahead and fold these seats back down and start checking out the front over to the passenger side of the Pro 4X. You can see we got power seats on the passenger side, sliding front and rear recline, manual lumbar support, which is done kind of awkwardly. It's done on the side of the seat right here. If you flip that up, that's your lumbar on. Flip that down, that's your lumbar down. It's the same thing on the passenger side. Go ahead and jump in real quick. Shut the door so you guys can see what's going on over here, right? So pretty snug space, mid-sized truck after all. Uh, you know, pretty, I would say mid-sized amount of room. Uh-huh. It being a mid-sized truck. So over here you can see you got kind of a double glove box set up. It's very secret right here. So you can push that up and that snaps up aggressively. Not a whole lot of space in there. Probably about, you know, a, a finger's width tall, but it is big enough that I can stick a whole thing of spare face masks and some wheel lug lockers in there uh, with no issue. Just gotta kind of slam it shut a little bit. You have a locking regular glove box that is damped, no lining on it, but it is very sizable. Got my instruction manual, a whole bunch of paperwork in there, as well as an adjustable wrench. And that's about it for the passenger side. We'll go over the rest of the uh, interior once we hop over in the driver's seat. So a classic truck would not be complete without a classic key setup. So it does come with one standard size key fob and a regular good old fashioned key. It does have power locks. All you gotta do is unlock the driver door, press unlock once, then unlock the door, lock, locks all your doors if you double tap it you'll unlock everything so we'll go ahead and unlock the driver door so we're going to talk about the door panel real quick a lot of, still a lot of that hard plastic on there you do have a nice leather material right here with this white cross stitching that goes down that's about the only soft material you'll find on this door the rest of it is still hard plastic it's kind of spongy right here for your elbow but the rest of it does get pretty solid as you move up power windows and locks on this frontier 
and then you do have this you know keep your kids from messing with the windows in the back that nice chrome door handle once again and there's one of your speakers for your rockford fosgate audio system so now we take a look at the driver's seat you can see power seats again manual lumbar i am missing the cover for the uh, power recline option and my front uh thigh support function doesn't work but you get what you get with a used truck sometimes manually adjustable steering wheel function right here and then you can see these are great leather seats pro 4x le uh, label right there it does kind of feel old school leather it's very hard leather very stiff but it is comfortable and it is good for going off road and you have a little bit of bolstering right here but not too much and that is still pretty stiff as well so there's one last view before we go ahead and jump in and start this baby up So now here we are behind the wheel of the 2016 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. Got the key, it's pretty hot in here, so let's go ahead, give it a start, see how it sounds. Like I said earlier, classic key ignition. I'm sure a lot of people don't see these anymore. You have a light right there that kind of illuminates this circle to help you find it in the dark. Uh, other than that, let's go ahead and fire it up. style three spoke nissan steering wheel thankfully they're redesigning this truck for the 2022 model year but you can see nothing too major it is kind of got some does have kind of some perforated leather wrapping around it and some silver accenting right here on the left there you do have your hands-free calling and volume control and on the right your control for cruise i'll go ahead and flip that on you can see get the feedback right there on the dash cruise on cruise off come around to the left try not to blast you too much with the air conditioning come up under here power mirrors right here kind of an annoying spot i do wish they were on the door automatic hill descent control and then you have a, a switch for your cargo lamps as you can see everything inside this truck very old looking very reliable mechanical switches that aren't going to let you down turn signal stock right there very small very uh good feedback feeling when you flip it on this does have automatic headlights and then there's your windshield wiper and mist, as well as your windshield washer fluid stock on that side. The intermittent time kind of threw me off on this one. Uh, it's kind of the opposite of what you would expect. And you can see there's your center gauge cluster right there. You do have full gauges on this, temperature, oil pressure, battery voltage, as well as fuel. And then you do have a speedometer and a tachometer. These, do, these gauges do have a white uh, background to them, which looks really good, especially in the daytime. And they do light up orange at night. And you can see over there, there's your four wheel drive uh, setup right there. Currently the Frontier is in two wheel drive, so that's why the back two wheels are the only ones lit up. Looking over, up over the hood, really good visibility coming out of the Frontier. Nice mid-sized truck feel. This truck feels really small and nimble, but it feels very capable at the same time. You have one of your speakers, the Rockford Fosgate audio system up there. I like this, these little dimples right here in the dash. They kind of give it that very utilitarian feel. And that is all very hard touch plastic up there. Coming across to the right, the world's smallest infotainment system. I swear it's the smallest screen I've ever seen in a modern, well, relatively modern day vehicle. You see you got the Rockford Fosgate audio system logo right there. So let's talk about this infotainment system for a little. So this is, I think, like a 4.3 inch infotainment system. And as you can see, it's very dated. You do get a backup camera, um, 
oh, sorry that's camera options we'll talk about the backup camera in a second but you can see very outdated looking it's still it's still fairly okay as far as response um but it's it's definitely showing its age nowadays like if you go to apps it looks like you're using a garmin from back in the day uh, but you you really can't beat the reliability of these things at the same time like it's tried and tested you know it's going to work uh it does have navigation uh it does have a you know you can can't pull up the map if you want and then very old school most cars don't even have them nowadays a cd player i'm actually surprised it doesn't have a tape player moving on down dual zone automatic climate control as you see as i adjust i've got sync set up so as i spin that around and then if i want to be the passenger and kind of adjust my own thing i can adjust this dial over here and then re-sync them up heated mirrors front defrost all the rest of your climate controls right here as you scoot down you can see here's where you're going to operate your four-wheel drive so we're stationary right now so i'm not going to play around to this but really easy to operate it's just a selector switch uh shift on the fly setup except for when you get into four low you don't have to be in neutral to shift into four low but if i'm rolling down the road i want four-wheel drive all i do is i flip this over to four high vehicle goes into four-wheel drive and then you do have to push this in in order to and turn it in order to get to that four low setting driver and passenger heated front seats once again you see you got these mechanical toggle switches you have a light on there for feedback high and low settings controls for traction control if you want to turn that off and get a little drifty turn off the rear park sensors and then great thing great functionality for this truck rear locking differential on this truck so this truck does come with an automatic or an electronic locking rear differential so you get a lot of off-road performance out of this vehicle hazard button right there ignition coming down here storage space you do have a little cubby down here good size storage space you can fit a couple phones down there and then you do have one also up top above the stereo uh this one's probably better though so you don't cook your phone in the light a couple of little storage cubbies right here good for some coins or chapstick or what have you and then here is the shifter for that five speed automatic transmission park right now standard transmission or uh, pretty standard automatic transmission setup uh thumb in then just pull back reverse you can see once you shift into reverse you either get get that backup camera uh what, what is kind of a knock on this though is that those trajectory lines do not turn with the steering wheel so if you watch me turn this wheel right i'll turn it all the way to the left those lines are still going straight forward very old school feel on this steering by the way hydraulic power steering it's a very old school solid hydraulic power steering that takes a little bit more effort on the wheel uh, than modern day vehicles all right shift all the way down to drive and then you can as well shift mainly into three two and one if you so desire that does turn overdrive off though you do that and if you want to turn overdrive off manually button right there hit that overdrive turns off continue on back parking brake or emergency brake like they used to be called now you do have cup holders right here kind of a big uh big gripe for me on these cup holders right you can see that they are removable uh, more often than not if i put anything bigger in these than like a monster can so if i put like a, a slurpee or a big gulp or something in there it kind of like suctions to the side of this and i'm gonna go take a drink it just pulls this whole insert out which is really obnoxious usually i just take, end up taking them chuck them on the floor over there when i have a larger drink and i have to go and reach and pick it up later but those are removable so you can wash them uh, or adjust the size of your drink and then a little small center console the the uh vinyl on here is starting to come up a little bit but a lot of storage space you can see i got a whole ton of crap shoved in there masks sunglasses phone chargers warm phone mounts a couple of coins in there you do get a little 12 volt charger right there as well as a usb jack and an aux jack as well and if we will come around here you can see you got two 12 volt jacks right there one of them covered and one of them not covered because once again use vehicle life so we'll go ahead and get a couple interior revs now so you guys can hear the engine sounds like on the interior. So now moving up in the overhead console area, you see you have a sunglass holder right there really satisfying feeling sunglass holder this is one of the best sunglasses holders i've ever felt in my entire life very good feel very quick drop down very easy to use it doesn't feel spongy like all the other ones do 
standard automatic dimming rear view mirror that does have compass and temperature integrated into it and then the pro 4x does come with a sunroof you flip that back see the sun the moon the stars if you want to and it does have the, th the three-way functionality so you can vent close it or pull it all the way back if you really want to but it's a very hot day so i'm not going to do that go ahead and shut that sun visor all right guys that about wraps it up for today's video if you like this video please be sure to like and subscribe i plan on making a lot more in the future if you guys already subscribed you're coming back thanks for returning if you're new to the channel great to have you here hope to keep you around a lot longer hope you guys take care we'll see you in the next one